Hello and welcome to the Launching Global Champions Tour here in Valkensvard. I'm delighted to say joining me is Ludger Bierbaum. Ludger, here, Style Tops, the Tops International Arena. It's something different, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. It's uh, really amazing. What they've set up here uh, is, is just uh, incredible, I must say. And uh, I've been here last week for the, for the opening press day and uh, I was really looking forward to come back this week and now we've started to compete here and to ride and it's it's uh, really class. And, and riding here already in this arena I mean this is this is great for horses isn't it? Yeah definitely I mean it was a pretty or really nice arena all those years I mean I came here I think in 93 the first time it was already a fantastic green uh, field show jumping arena really and uh, I always like to come every year and I always have said that this is uh, my favorite arena really yeah uh, but now with this uh, uh, setup around it's, it's incredible and I mean this has always been a very if you like lucky venue for you successful for venue for you hasn't it yes that's, that's well of course <laughs> I think if you if you like to go somewhere it's also the, the extra <laughs> uh, adrenaline which which makes you probably also perform Good. And in terms of the facilities here, I mean, you, you're working on both sides, both in the VIP with, with clients and out the back, of course, with the horses. I mean, what, what is all that like and how does that compare to anywhere else? Well, I think we have also on other shows uh, different rings and, and, and amateurs on one side and, and pros on the other. But I mean, here it's now close to perfection, I would say, because we have everything close, um, both groups are riding in e e each ring yeah. so and you don't have to do massive ways to, to get uh, from one side to the next including the uh, preparation area, the, the two big warm-up rings, another ring where you can walk your horses, the stables, permanent stables which yeah. usually we don't have, we are in yeah. tents. Yeah, this is, it's, it's uh, really fantastic. And as you say, I mean, you've been involved since the very start, and actually the very start of the, the Longines Global Champions Tour event as well. I mean, 10 years on, I mean, Jan Tops himself, here with this venue and with the, the tour, has, has changed the face of the sport in a lot of ways. No question, yes. Uh, I think uh, if you look back uh, from where he, they started, uh, first to run shows, but then, as you said, since 10 years, the Global, uh, Champions Tour, it's, it's uh, developed incredibly and it's been a, a good competition for the rest of the sport, the rest of the shows we are having and yeah. uh, thanks to that we, are, we arrived to this level, so I think uh, chapeau, they've done a great job. And in terms of the sport, in terms of global watching of the sport, I mean, the Grand Prix themselves, 18 through to the second rounds, and, and the same with the team competition that we've got here on Friday with the, with the eight teams going through. It's all also also geared towards television and, and presentation of the sport around the world, which makes a big difference. Yeah, it's no question. I think the more uh, attraction we can get uh, globally, worldwide, the better it is. It's, uh, but it's, it's, I would say it's a lot of things which, which led us to this point. The format is probably one, but we've had the format before we had the global uh, approach and the, the, the shows on almost every continent. Uh, of course, the traveling around the world, having people from other continents here in Europe and us Europeans going to other parts in the world also is very... Uh, very interesting is we feel a bit like going to Asia, China, uh, like ambassadors for our sports, and we you realize that there is more and more interest, and I think that's uh, it's a great, uh, great situation for our sport. And I mean, you've been a great ambassador for the sport around the world. I mean, we've seen it develop in so many different regions. I mean, Shanghai was one of them, which is which is great as well. And, and the fact we're able now to present that sport globally on television to everyone. Yeah, I think also that's a, that is a great achievement and uh, it all depends on growth, really. Uh, I mean, uh, the sport, of course, uh, as well as the business. Uh, so the more we can grow uh, in all areas around the world, uh, the better it is. And in terms of here on the, on the week of Valkensvar, the 10th anniversary, the, 
the special team event that we're going to have on, on Friday night. I mean, you're, you're a part of that, teamed up with Kevin Stout, which is, which is going to be a different pairing that we've never seen before. <laughs> no, that's right, but I'm, I'm, I think I had a lucky draw, <laughs> uh, I would call it, because, of course, Kevin is uh, one of the best riders in the world and it's, uh, it's nice to be in a team with him. So I'm, I saw it this morning, the draw, when it came out, and I was very, very uh, happy that uh, we can compete together the rest. I think uh, it's exciting. We will see tomorrow what will happen, and, uh, but I'm looking forward to, to be one of uh, the 15 teams. Absolutely, and, and, and looking ahead to the sport, it gives a, a springboard to what can potentially come in the future as well. Definitely, yeah. And in terms of the sport itself and, and, and getting into that, I mean, the prize money's changed, everything's changed. I mean, would you want to go back 10 years and say, I'll, I'll add another 10 years to my career? And... Um, no, I'm not really thinking that way, you know, because this is. Uh, I, I'm very happy to be still part of it, and uh, I know that will that will not be the case in 10 years. But uh, that's all good. I mean, if the sport develops, it's good, and I will be probably in a way supportive behind the curtains. Yeah. Why not? And then uh, it's also a way to be part of the whole uh, sport and development. And uh, it's probably as nice, a little less pressure than when you're <laughs> active. So. No, I'm completely relaxed about it and I think it's, uh, it's very positive and uh, for the moment I'm enjoying it to be part of it. From your point of view, I mean, looking ahead to that, you're very involved now with the, with the management of horses, the management of riders. I mean, venues like this are important and, and will be a part of the development of young horses and young riders in the future as well. It's a great legacy. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's, this is one aspect, and but the whole industry, I mean, the, the more, the bigger our fundament is and the more involvement we have in the whole horse industry, from breeding to uh, education to, to, to the business, to the, the sale of horses, uh, the bigger the platform is, the better it is for the industry. And so I'm, I'm definitely, even if I don't write part of this industry, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. I was going to say, where do you where do you see the riders' role in the growth of the sport? As well, well as just a, being in the saddle. Yeah, it depends, of course. You know, I think you cannot uh, once when you're up and coming rider, you're probably mainly focused on on riding and on competing, and that's great. We need these young athletes. It's also a, a great uh, aspect for the whole program of the sport. But then, once you are doing this for a while, you get older, you own probably your, some of the horses yourself, or you have a partner riding for you, another young one who comes up. You, over the years, bring new horses uh, in the sport to develop yourself or with partners with other riders. So, um, coming back to your question, definitely the riders are having a key role in the whole thing but it's it's uh, there's some more than just riding yeah absolutely and in terms of long-term sustainability of the sport I mean you've seen it change dramatically in the last 10 years you've seen it change over 30 years what do you think are the key going forward future sustainability of the sport well I think the, the main if you, talk, if you see the world around us also, I mean, we, we cannot, uh, we may like it or not, but, but we're living in a globalized world. Yeah. More and more, the world is actually getting smaller with internet, with uh, mobile traveling all over every single day. People are, you know, the borders are not the borders they used to be 20, no, exactly. 30 years ago. I think this is going to be, if we want to grow, if you want to grow, you have to grow with the, the, your surrounding, with the world around you. And I think yeah. the, the horse sport is on the right track. Yeah. And, and going forward, you you know, looking at the riders that we see and, and, and venues like this, this is going to be the future of the sport? The, the top sport, I'm, I'm sure, yes. But of course, we need uh, the sport also on lower levels, you know, uh, two stars, three stars. But yeah. there as well, we are getting more uh, global and, and, and uh, I think it starts already now in China, in Asia, in the Arab League. We have more and more shows, more and more riders involved, amateurs and professional, young riders. So we need it spread out uh, worldwide. Good, good. Well, great solidarity between the two of you. Good luck to the two of you. And we'll see how it all plays out during the week and everything in this wonderful new development here at Valkensmart on the Launching Global Champions Tour.